everyone, this is Chai of the East and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create YouTube thumbnails using Canva. Canva is a free online video maker where you can create professional look designs with your photos and videos. You can create and customize your own design instantly, even if you're not a design expert. You could use it for your YouTube thumbnails, Facebook cover photos, Instagram stories, and other social media posts. To start with, go to your browser and search for canva.com and sign up for free. Once you log in, go to your homepage and click the search button area and type YouTube thumbnail. Click YouTube thumbnail with the exact size of 1280 by 720 pixels. From here, you can choose if you want to start with templates or you can start with blank canvas. I'm going to choose the blank canvas. This is your canvas area. And on the left side, you can see the side panels templates where you can find thousands of free templates design upload where you can upload your own photos and videos from your device photos where you can browse a bunch of photos from the canvas library just all you have to do is search from here and type the keyword you want to find and elements where you can find illustration shapes frames stickers and more text where you can customize your own text and you can also add some different font style now let's go back to templates there are lots of templates designs here that you can use for free let's say if you want it like this one just click the image drag and drop into the canvas area First thing to do is to change the text into something that you think it fits to your theme. Just double click and highlight the text. Type, let's say, Winter Fashion Hall. And then go to your toolbar up here and change the alignment of your text as well as the space and height of the letters. And then change the fonts and select any font designs you like. You can change the font color as well. There, you can just play around with it. If you want to change the sample photo, you can upload your own image or you can use any of the photos that are available in the canvas library. Just go to photo and type any keyword you want. Let's say winter fashion. Once you find the image you want, just click drag and drop the image to your canvas area you can also change the color same as the background image too if you're satisfied with your work go to the toolbar up here and rename your file Let's say fashion hall. Once it's saved, download PNG for high quality image, JPEG for small file size image. I'm gonna choose the PNG, then download. And if you want to upload an image from your file, just click the Upload tab and select the Upload Media, Device, 
and then select the photos you want to upload and then click drag and drop the image to your page expand the image to go across the screen click the image in your page and it gives you the toolbar up here from here you can add effects filter you can also adjust the image by changing the brightness contrast and saturation I will change the saturation into gray and adjust the contrast too and go back to upload and duplicate the same photo that I used in the background but this time I want to remove the background of the photo by using background remover go to effect and apply background remover this is only applicable for canvas users only I will leave a link down in the description below where you can remove your background online for free moving on click the edges of the photo and expand the image right across the center and I'm going to apply the text design that I used recently just click the, the text and drag it into your page I'm going to ungroup the text so that I can change the text individually let's say let's change it to travel because I love traveling travel with I'm going to change the size of the text and the colors as well change it to black and drag it in the middle if you want to add different kinds of shapes just click the elements tab and search any shapes you like And then you can also change the color. I'm going to search frames and select the Polaroid frame and drag it into your page. Duplicate. And I'm going to use the two photos that I uploaded a while ago. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Till next time.